Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. On this video here, I got a call to um, reinstall a toilet. I guess what happened was the tile guy had went over there and, um, you know, would put underlayment down and then tile on the floor. And th there was a flange there on the existing floor. So I had to add an extension flange um, to this job because uh, the guy did the tile work. Really, the, the flange, should, the pipe should have probably been cut, and a new flange should have been put in above the tile floor. But you know, things happen out there, and uh, he he did he did put um, you know his tile job. The toilet did cover the tile job. Tile job's a little nasty looking, but um, on this video, I show you how to put an extension flange on. He had some we had some long closet bolts there, so that was okay, and it, it'll be fine. It's not going to leak or nothing. And the way the, the floor was, the tile floor, must have been pitching down in the back. Because when I bolted the toilet down, the toilet was pulling a little bit of a wheelie. So i show you what i do in a case like that uh, to fix that void under the front of the toilet. Because um, if you don't fix that void, what's going to happen is the toilet's going to get loose. And it's going to leak. So, nothing fancy. But like I said, I always bring the good, bad, and the ugly. And uh, show you guys what I do in a situation like this. So it's not the ideal situation, but it'll work. It'll be fine. It's not going to leak, and it's going to be it's going to be adequate. Um, it will be okay. I wouldn't leave nothing that's that's going to be leaking in the future. So um, nothing fancy, nothing pretty, but reality. Yeah. Also, in this video here, I re replace a mowing uh, cartridge, Maxim cartridge, in a single lever pull type of mowing foss thing was all jammed up could barely move it um i didn't show the complete thing of that because the homeowner was standing there but um i had to take the old cartridge out it was the old brass type maxim mowing foss the thing was all jammed up that's one thing about mowing is if you don't use them sometimes they get jammed up because they gotta slide in and out and turn so uh i replaced that with a new cartridge head in the truck and uh with a mowing if you put it in backwards, the hot and the cold will be mixed. Just take the handle off, spin the spindle around 180, and put the handle back, and, and you'll you'll mix the hot and the cold will be in the in the proper order. And I show that part in the video. So nothing special, just kind of like a little a little bonus. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Flanges below the floor. I put a span of flange in there for repair. The long bolts. They make a kit, an extension. It's got a little lip on it. Lip. I'm gonna put that down, I'm screw that down. So this is above the floor. And I can put my wax on there and bolt it down. These are long, they come with a kit. They'll never leak because it's got that lip on there. It's hard from sitting in the truck because it's cold. Now there's some hot water. Soften it up. Soften up that wax. I only do this in the winter when the wax is cold and hard. The extension flame comes with three flanges. Some, some kits come with different thickness ones. And a long set of bolts. Well, it would have been better off putting the flange above the floor, but that's not reality here on this job, so it's going to work. It'll be okay. If 
the wax in and let it set for a little bit. See if I got a mowing cartridge in there for that thing. That should be at the maximum. Changed out that cartridge. I don't know. I gotta turn the water back on. What moment it can be the way. Obviously, he's got to be caught that really long. Sure, it's tight to the floor, but not crazy tight. I'm gonna crack nothing.
careful, that's what I might want to book. Toilet's pulling a little wheelie. I'm gonna put that in there like that now. Cut it. That's the way the floor is. The floor must be pitching down in the back. It's tight. The floor must be like that. Maybe it's fine like that. it up. That's it. That's good. No, wait. 